This video shows the steps needed to directly install the Scientific Python stack on Windows. These instructions make use of a large number of binary installers. The main Python installer is produced by the Python Software Foundation, and the remainder of the installers are produced by Christoph Golke. Start by launching the main Python installer. The default should be fine. Next, install setup tools, pip, and virtual env. These will be needed prior to initializing a virtual environment. The next step is to set up the virtual environment. First, start with an administrator console. This means running CMD with administrator privileges. The next step requires downloading the file register.py from the website. Unfortunately, this is in a zip since MediaWiki doesn't allow Python files to be stored. Extract the contents of the zip to the Python installation directory. Next, return to the command window and run the command to initialize the virtual environment. After initializing the virtual environment, change the directory to the scripts directory inside the just created virtual environment. Run activate to activate this virtual environment. You can tell the environment is active since the command prompt has changed. The key step in the entire installation process is to run register python using the python installation in the virtual environment folder. This must be done with administrator privileges. Running this command is necessary to allow the binary installers to find the correct version of Python to install into. Next, pip is used to install a large group of modules that do not require binary installers. After the pip command completes, return to the list of binaries. Install these one at a time, starting with Jinja2 and going to the final install. This process requires around 5 minutes, but this video has been sped up by a factor of 10. When the final installer is finished, Open Notepad. It's easiest to use batch files to launch IPython, which is the main environment used to learn Python. The first batch file opens IPython in a standard Windows command prompt. In general, this is not a particularly good way to use IPython. The setLine sets an environmental variable 
that makes it simple to use the code directly from the notes. Save this file in the recently created virtual environment using the name ipython.bat. Executing this file will open a command window. In this command window we can see there's an error. This is because I have failed to copy a necessary directory. Change to the directory containing the main Python installation and copy the folder TCL to the virtual environment that was just created. Launching IPython now shows no error. Next, edit the original batch file and change the command so that IPython Qt console can be launched. Once Qt console is open, a small number of commands can be used to check that the basic scientific Python stack has been correctly installed. The final step is to check that IPython Notebook was correctly installed. Start by opening a command prompt and activating the virtual environment. Then enter the command to start the IPython Notebook server. This will start the server and launch a browser. The browser should be Chrome or Firefox and definitely not Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is currently not supported by IPython, even in its latest incarnation. The final step is to send the batch files to the desktop as shortcuts. The icon on the shortcuts is generic, and this can be changed by selecting Properties and then Change Icon.
Clicking on these shortcuts will open the two IPython environments, one in the Windows command prompt and the other in the preferred Qt console. It may be useful to set the main Python back as the default Python for the system. This can be done using a command prompt with administrator privileges, going to cpython27 and then running python register underscore python. 